Yeah, we are recording. Good morning, kids. Welcome to the Kong Family Show. We've got a superstar here at the house today, kids. Man, this is going to be good. This is one of my favorite things about the Kong Family Show is, um, is getting to, to interview and, and talk to people who have great stories to tell. And, and quite frankly, I think, I think it's, it, this particular show uh, is really exciting to me because I get to, I get to interview the young Cayman Stratton, and he's only 22 years young. And, uh, you know, and the thing is, is that young people like that, so many of the young people in our society today, they're, they're too busy playing video games or, or whatever it is to, uh, to actually think about their life and, and, and do something productive with their life. And so whenever I meet youngins like yourself, brother, I, I really like to meet you guys. I like to find out what's in your brain cell and, you know, what makes you tick and why you got involved and all that kind of stuff. And, and so it's really exciting. I, I want you to know I appreciate so much you taking your valuable time to, to jump on board and share some wisdom, share some golden nuggets with the family. Um, yeah. here, at the, here at the Kong family, we have a really super simple goal. It's super easy. It's no problem. We got this, baby. We just <laughs> want to change the world. And so that's what we're doing. We're doing it, as my brother Sean would say, we're doing it one glass of 9.5 at a time. <laughs> so with all that said, kids, I want to introduce to you guys the awesome uh, Cayman Stratton. He's coming to us live from Arizona, from the, the Kong and Water store down there that he and his family run. And so, uh, yeah, we're really excited to have you in the store, in the, in the, on the show today, buddy. So how the heck are you? How's things down there in Arizona? It's going good. Yeah, no, I'm happy to be on the show today. I'm actually sitting here in the store today. So, uh, you know, as we go on, I'll, I'll, I'll show everyone around and you can see what it's like. And I'm happy to be on it with you today. Awesome. So, yeah, so down there at the store, you, you, uh, I, want, I definitely want you to introduce everybody to the store, let people know where you are, let people know that they can come and get water, whatever, that, uh, you know, they can probably come and get supplies and things like that, whatever they might need. And uh, they can probably come in and meet you and learn some, some valuable things. So I, uh, I'm real excited to have you on here today. But I want to start with the first thing that I always ask everybody, because this is always something that I like to know about people, because my story was kind of, kind of weird. You know, I, I was a big time skeptic and I, I wasted perfectly six perfectly good Kong months of my life by thinking it was stupid, thinking it was ridiculous, thinking that water's just water, you know? And, yeah. And, and truthfully, I didn't even know how accurate I was because H2O is just H2O. It's uh, I call it life's great conundrum because on one hand you got to have it. On the other hand, it's killing you. And uh, you know, Kong's water is something different. It's something special for a period of time after it comes out of that beautiful lightning bolt in a box that we put on our countertops. And, and so with that, how, how, when, why did you get involved with Kong and water? Did you think it was crazy? Did you think it was, were you a skeptic like I was? Or, you know, what's your, what's your story there? How'd you get involved? I'm always interested to know that. So, um, as you said, I, I'm only 22 years old and I think it was 13 years ago is when me and my family got introduced to this water. So I was only nine years old. So uh, at the time I was young, uh, but I was, st I was still old enough to remember, uh, you know, remember a little bit about what my family was thinking about it. So my dad, he's, uh, he's been involved with Enagic for, for about 13 years now. And someone named Jim Gilliland and Fred Brown, they were the ones that introduced my dad to the water. And at first, my dad told him, he said, you know, water's water. I don't, you know, I don't really care to, to get involved in a whole other thing. Because at the time, he was starting his own business called Core Health Products. Uh, he's been a nutritionist for about 25 years. Uh, he's a very, very smart man. Everything I know I've learned because of him. Uh, but he was actually very skeptical about the water at first. You know, he, he said, water's water. I don't care to have a whole, a whole other system in my house. Um, but I think it was Jim that sent my dad a machine he actually sent him one so that we could use it in our house for i think we used it for a week and uh so we we put it in the house we started drinking it and honestly after the first two or three days we were sold 
And after that, we, we never, never went back, never used anything different. And for the past 13 years now, we've had that machine in our home and, and we've helped put uh, machines in many other people's homes. And so I, I really, I've grown up drinking the water. I've grown up to love the water. And so that's, that's why we opened this store here is because it's changed our lives. There's things that me and my family went through that like literally changed our lives, saved our, saved our lives. And so we're just here to share it with other people now because it's something that we love. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. I love that. You know, you've been drinking Cog's water since you were basically knee high to a grasshopper. So that's sweet. You yeah. know, you, you don't yeah. even really know any other water and that's uh that's a tremendous gift right there to, uh, and, and I would imagine that with, you know, with that, that you have had a pretty healthy life being, let me correct you. You are 22 years young, my friend, yeah. <laughs> not 22 years old, baby. That's not how it works. We see, we hear the Khan family, we get younger every year. We don't get older. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so, yeah, you know, you're going to keep getting younger every year for the rest of your life. And, uh, and uh, that's a tremendous gift in itself. But I'd imagine that because usually my next question, hey, there's my brother, Sean. He's coming in hot. The wet cell. Where is he? Get in here, Sean. Show us that <laughs> smiling mug of yours. There he is. Look at that handsome fellow there. Holy moly. Yeah. You know, he. what is that you say about... Uh, about when you, how tall you were when you first got involved with Cogs Water and all that? Well, I was 5'4", and I was uglier in the Dickens, and <laughs> now I'm 6'8", and I'm, well, I'm 6'8", and uh, I'm 6'8". I didn't get any better looking, but I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, young Stratton? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Very well, very well. Family's good. How's the little guy? Good. Yeah, he's been doing God super good. He's I had the pleasure of meeting that little shaver a couple of times with you guys, and uh, he's just cool. I got a son that's 12, so they've always just kind of had a similar age. What is he, like 14 now, 15? He just turned 16, so he just started driving. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Look out, Mesa. <laughs> yep. Yep. Right on, right on. Well, yeah, didn't mean to be late running on Bitterrooter time, trying to juggle some things, and yikes, that's a bright little window. Um, but yeah, go ahead, JJ, continue on, proceed. I'm excited to have a Junior Stratton on board. Your dad, man, I'm telling you, he's uh, done a lot for just what I've utilized for athletes, being in that world on a way lesser scale. And um, no, it's just neat. You kids, you're Mom, you guys are a really neat family, and it's just really cool to have you on board here and hear your story, hear how things are going. Kind of curious for you. Uh, what do you got going on, my man? Not much. I was I was just saying how I'm, I'm actually sitting here in the store right now. Uh, we opened up this store. It's been a little over six months now. Nice. Um, just you know, this is what I've been doing for the past six months. I run and manage the store, and it keeps me busy. But I love it. You bet. Awesome. You bet. Well, you know, so I want to get back to where we were. Um, you, um, you've been drinking this stuff since you were nine years old. And so my guess is, is that you've um, had very little, if any, kind of health problems or anything like that. Um, I'm wondering if you would uh, kind of expand a little bit for people. Um, cause this is the first time that we've ever had it. Somebody on the show who started drinking Kong's water at such a young age and now they're even younger. Right. And so I'm curious to know what, uh, what it's been like for you. What do you remember as far as colds and flus and whatever, you know, really, I'm, I'm really curious. Cause like I said, this is the first time I've ever met somebody that's been drinking the water from such a young age. And now they're, they're grown up a little bit and, uh, Man, what do you what do you have to say about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll share I'll share two stories about that. First right. one, um, I so when I was younger, before we before we knew about the water, I had a uh, skin disease that we we or the doctors didn't know what it was. Um, I had a skin disease all over my whole body, and it was to the point where I was embarrassed to go outside and to go swimming. And I, I live in Arizona; it's hot all the time, right? Everyone goes swimming. Everyone 
does that all day. And so for, for a young kid to be embarrassed to take a shirt off or go swimming, that's hard, right? Yeah. And so for, I think for about a year, maybe a little over, um, we, we would go to doctors, they would give me creams, they'd give me medication to take and nothing ever helped. This, this uh, skin disease would not go away. It was something that was very hard for me. Um, and then, like I said, when I was nine, we had that machine put in our house. And so, I, first of all, I started drinking it. And I started putting the 2.5 and the 11.5 on, on my body and those parts that, were, uh, that I had that, that problem. And, and like I said, I'd been fighting this for probably about a year and a half. And within a week of me starting to drink this water and put the 2.5 and 11.5 on my body, it was gone and it never came back. And I, I had tried probably 20 or 30 different medications and creams and nothing ever worked for that year and a half. And so that was a miracle for me. It's something that helped me be able to enjoy my life again because it was something that definitely affected me. And so that was story number one about how it changed my life, right? Um, and then you asked me if, if, you know, about if I get sick a lot. So a, a few years back, I served, I served a mission for church. And so I, I moved out of the country. I moved to Malaysia for a two years. I was there for two years. And over those two years, you know, Malaysia is kind of a more, more of a uh, poor, poor country. I love the country. I love the people. Um, but it is a little bit more run down. So a lot of the, my friends from America that lived there with me, they would get sick all the time. They would always have something that they were sick with. And for those whole two years, not once did I ever get sick. Uh, did I ever have any problems? And, you know, I, I just very rarely get sick. I think it's been four or five years since I've had a cold since I've been sick. And so, yeah, this, this water has changed my life. I'm, I am healthy as I can be, and I love it. Wow, that's, that's incredible. And so when you were on your mission, were you able to drink the water during those years? Or you probably didn't have a machine on your, on your uh, mission um, home, did you? No, I, no. So I didn't. So I, 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 I contribute my health on my mission a lot, a lot to the water because I'd been drinking it for so long. And e even though I wasn't able to drink it on my mission, I think it was, it helped me, you know, I was healthy before that and helped me stay healthy. But, um, also my dad's products, cause I was able to take my dad's uh, nutritional products over there with me. Uh, that was something that definitely helped me as well. So with the products and the water together, you know, I, um, invincible i feel like <laughs> yeah that's that's sweet and of course at the end definitely want you to share the information about those products so that people can get them and get a hold of you and get hooked up with uh with the core products if uh if they so desire um so what about uh i always like to know what about what about other what are what about other stories you know because one of the things about this is is we want to bring out the stories of people because that's what's powerful. I know that's what changed my life. It wasn't all the facts and figures and, and stats and all that kind of stuff. It was a story, an incredible story. And that was what woke me up. And so we're trying to do as much story sharing as possible. So what kind of things have you seen happen for other people, for people in your family, people outside of your family, friends, people coming into the store? What, what other kind of interesting information do you have to share with us in that regard um so we started this store about six months ago and i'd say within the first week that we opened uh there was a lady that she she came in and uh she'd never heard about ionized water before or congan water and so i you know i taught her about it and i asked her what makes you so interested in the water uh, she said that she had had in the past year, she ha has uh, several kidney stones that she, she couldn't pass. And they, it was just, she was miserable. She had a hard time um, making it through the day. And within the first day that she started drinking water, and, and remember, it's been a year since she'd been able to pass any of those kidney stones. And within the first day that she started drinking, drinking uh, Congan water, she said that she, she passed those kidney stones and she's been fine ever since. Um, so that, that was a miracle to me. It was something in the first week of me opening the store, I was able to, to help change someone's life in a way. And she's still on the water. She loves it. Um, she's, she's, she's convinced. And so, uh, that was one story. One, another story that, um, was really convincing for me was my, uh, grandpa. 
for most of his life, he had had arthritis, mainly in his hands and his feet. And uh, it's something that affected him. He works outside. He, he works a lot of construction. He builds houses. And so that is something that affects his day to day and it makes it hard for him. And so we, we started having him drink the water first two, three, four, five days. He didn't really feel anything, but we told him, keep drinking the water. You're going to feel different. Keep drinking it. So he did. And he said that on the 10th day when he woke up, he said it was gone. He said he didn't feel any pain of arthritis and he was able to to work like he was young again and he loved it said it was gone so and, and when he stay, stays consistent with the water uh that arthritis stays away but when he starts to stop when he stops drinking it that's when it comes back and it hurts again yeah isn't that amazing yeah, yeah it's uh, it's crazy what this uh this machine right here we always talk around here about the fact that this is the machine this is the machine that's the miracle because uh you know this is the most complex and and magical machine that there is on the planet and it runs on 120 millivolts of electricity and hydrogen it's amazing yeah. what happens when you give it that 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 electricity and that fuel that it needs it it fixes itself and and we just so happen to have this gift that um, was given to us by god and and mr oshiro that actually provides that and so it it does change lives in such an amazing way and it's it's all about giving this thing what it needs. And most of us out there for most of our lives, most of the people that are running out there, running around out there in the world today, they're giving their, their machine the exact opposite of what it needs so that it can do what it's supposed to do, which is fix itself. And so, yeah, it's always interesting to see these kinds of things. And it's, it's commonplace. You see it every day. You hear it every day. If you're part of the, the Kong family and getting this information, you're seeing it all the time. It's just, Par for the course, as I like to say. And so um, I'm curious, Sean, do you have anything that, uh, that you know, from what, what came in has said that has sparked any kind of a question in your brain cell? <laughs> no, I mean, not at this point. I'm just sitting here thinking about how, uh, you know, Alexis and uh, Silbs, you've had the uh, opportunity to meet those guys. Is that correct, Cayman? Um, yes, they, they came in the other day. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's funny. They're friends of mine from Billings. Um, they started speaking highly of you and they mentioned your name. And then that's when we started going. I was like, oh, no, you guys are that close to those guys. So that's just huge. I just I'm really glad she was able to, uh, you know, just be involved in uh, helping getting that part rolling. Yeah, they're really good people. They're uh, they're young snowbirds, man. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, you people get all old and gray and crusty like JJ and they moved down. No, I'm just kidding. And they moved down there during the winter and come back up to Montana in the summer, but they're kind of adventurous, uh, both really grounded. They just kind of chosen to do what they're doing. And I love the fact that they're down in your guys' neck of the woods. And, you know, it's just interesting. You talk about your dad's products. You know, I, uh, the water helped me a little bit too early on, but I remember I was, uh, had something going on at a conference we had in Vegas here a few years back. And so I bought one of your dad's uh, core greens things and his digestive enzymes. And geez, within a couple of days, I just noticed some real steady turnarounds and stuff. So yeah, it's just kind of funny just uh, put it all together, hearing your story about, you know, being in Malaysia without Kongan, but having those supplements to kind of get you through. I mean, that's, yeah. that's still going through my head right there. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't had any real questions at this point. You, go ahead, JJ. I'm just ear holding. <clears throat> so you know what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, Cayman, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to give you a chance here to kind of rummage around the store a little bit. Show us what your store's all about. Let's, uh, yeah. let's check the place out. Can't yeah. <laughs> uh, let me let me see if I can turn this around. Walk you guys around the store. There you go. Oh, it's huge. Oh, Holy yeah. moly. Yeah, you can see it's it. huge. A room in here. It, it looks bigger than Nagic's office in Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, wow. we have a lot of room. We try to try to do as much as we can in here. Uh, as you can see, we do classes. We do full demos here for people. Um, so I, I'm here every day from Monday to Saturday, and I, I, uh, I'll i do demos for anyone that comes in. So I'll do sometimes 
five, six, seven, eight demos a day. Um, but then we have our, our uh, demos that are set every, uh, what is it? First and third Saturday of the month at two o'clock. All right, so those, those are our set demos for anyone that wants to come and, and learn more about it. These are our, just our products on display. You can see the core health products right there. We got the full, the full lineup of the products. Um, as Sean was saying earlier, I've, I've seen these products change people's lives literally just like I've seen the Kangen water change people's lives. Um, it's something that, that definitely helps me. I take them every day, no matter what. Uh, they're amazing. They're all enzyme-based supplements. And so if, if you've ever heard of enzymes, enzymes are actually one of the most alkalizing things you can put into your body. Right? And so people, people drink the Kangen water so that they can alkalize their body. Um, but enzymes really are one of the most alkalizing things you can put into your body. And so having the enzymes and the water together has is, is totally changed my life. And I believe that everybody needs to, needs to be doing both of them. It's, it's definitely helpful. So let me show you the rest of what we got here. So we have... We have some learning materials that we, we hand out and we sell here. We sell, uh, we sell filters for the machines. We have Kangen bottles for the 11.5, 2.5 drinking water, whatever it is. We have Ukon, uh, more materials. And we have these water bags. We always thought these were pretty cool. Carry around, we have CDs and so, but yeah, this, this is it right here. This is the store. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. What an awesome place you guys have there. <laughs> I can't wait to come down and visit. Next time I get down into Arizona, I'm going to have to jump, jump on in and, and see the place. Maybe we'll have to do a Kong show live right there from the, from the, the place again. Do uh, a Kong show and let us do the demo. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be Pat Sajak, though, and you got to be Vanna White, though. <laughs> yeah. I think it sounds good. I'll put a wig on or, or maybe just spruce my craziness hair up. And, uh, I was thinking I'm, about uh, throwing a skirt on you there, Sally. I'll be the mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's so cool. So um, that's a beautiful place that you have down there, and I'm sure that, uh, that it's going to be you know, such a great tool for, for helping people change their lives, and that's, that's really neat to, to see and be able to share with people. Um, now I want to get to another question that I love to ask people and it, it involves somebody that's curious, somebody that wants to learn maybe a little bit, they're kind of sitting there on the fence and on one, one, that, that, that little devil on one side is telling them that water's just water and the little angel on the other side saying, Hey, maybe there's something to this. And. So you, you have one opportunity and you get to say one thing to them to make or break whether the angel or the devil is going to win. What are you going to say to them? Um, well, it depends on whether they're drinking the water or not because if, if they're thinking that, all I'd say is just, just drink the water. Give it two weeks and just drink the water. Um, if you drink soda, if you drink coffee, you know, put that away. Stop drinking that for two weeks. Be committed. And for those two weeks, um, drink the water, drink nothing else, and you will notice a difference. And so, you know, if, if people will do that um, religiously, they will notice a difference if they'll love the water. When you, your body's made up of 70 to 80% water, and like you were saying, this is the miracle. And so when you give it the water that it needs, then it's, it's going to react in a good way. Right? You just have to put away the rest of it. Stop drinking bottled water, stop drinking soda, whatever it is, and just drink the Congan water. Yeah, really give it a give it a serious test, and because I think that's a big problem with people is they they'll drink some of the water, but then they don't stop drinking all the other crap. They don't stop eating all the other crap. And they just and then they come back and go, oh, it didn't work, didn't do anything at all. Well, <laughs> yeah. And one one thing I've noticed here in the stores because I have a lot of people just come in because they see the store and they wonder what it is, and so. I have a lot of people come in and they want to try the water because I'll show them a demo and they say, oh, it looks cool, but I want to try the water. So I, I give them water for free to try and I tell them, I say, you know, you're not used to drinking this water. You're used to drinking this soda or you're used to drinking this uh, reverse osmosis water that we've seen is acidic. 
And so when you start drinking this water, it's going to detoxify your body. So you're going to go through some things. And so a lot of times when, when people start detoxing and they get a headache or, or whatever it is, for some reason, a lot of people just quit. They say, oh, I don't like the water. It gave me a headache. And I, I always tell them, if you get through those first, that first day or two, it's going to be gone and you're going to feel a hundred times better. You just got to get through it and, and stay committed. Yeah. One of my people in, uh, that lives back East in, uh, in South Carolina, he, he, when he first started using the water, he was going to a store and getting it. And one that was there in uh, Greenville. And he, he said for the first three days, it was miserable. But he, he said that he'd suffered from headaches for such a long time. He said the headaches for that first three days got even worse. But then after on the fourth day, that was the end of the headaches. And he ended up getting himself a machine and, and he hasn't had any problem with headaches since. And so, yeah, I've, I've heard that a lot where people for those first few days or so that uh, it can be kind of tough on them. Diarrhea, headaches, stomach aches, things like that as the, as the body's trying to clean itself out from all these years of abuse that the people have been given yeah. their body. Right. Yeah. And, um, so it, uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting little conundrum, our, our body and yeah. the things that we can do with it. And so, I like, uh, you know, for the record, I like when you talk about that, I've always said, I got a head thing going on too. It was a rush. It was, but I, to me, it wasn't a headache. And I think people are so psychosomatic in a lot of respects because they're so indoctrinated into pills and illness. And, you know, a lot of people love sharing their story of their disrepair. It certainly seems to bring on empathy. And, you know, you've even noticed it with heavier stuff. People really like to lay it heavy on you when they got something heavy and it speaks for itself. But, you know, with respect to the headaches, I just tell them, I said, look, you're just getting hydrogen and oxygen to your brain that you have not gotten in too long, and your body is just starting to readjust to it. So, you know, just keep getting through it. Let your brain get hydrated, you know, and that's the thing I always try and help people understand. But, again, we're just so oblivious to how to take care of this machine. We've become yeah. so used to other people going to the doctors, going into the industry, going into the uh, whole paradigm that is sick care. And uh, I think once people get over that, that's a real game changer because they're able to sustain that little window of discomfort and uh, proceed accordingly. Wouldn't you say, Cameron? No, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, when people come in and start drinking the water, a lot of times, a lot of times distributors don't want to talk about how people are going to maybe will get headaches. Not everyone does, but a lot of times distributors don't want to bring it up because they don't want to scare people away. But I always tell people when they come in, I say, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Your body needs to detox and it's going to, and you're not used to this water. And so I, I tell you this just so it doesn't scare you away so that, you know, if you can get through that first day or two of that happening, you're going to feel a million times better and it's going to be hundred percent worth it. And so yeah, I'm, I'm not scared to tell people that because it's it's part of a detoxification process of you becoming healthier. Yeah, you know, that's the thing for all the people out there that are going to be watching this as time goes by. That that right there is some serious golden nuggets from uh, from a young study. Honesty you know, is the best policy. About. You want to make sure that you be truthful with people, that you give them a heads up. And, uh, you know, I think that, that not giving that heads up to a friend of mine that started t drinking the water and, and I didn't give her that heads up. I, I wasn't, you know, aware at the time of how important that was to let her know that, Hey, you might get stomach aches. You might get diarrhea. You might get headaches. You might get, who knows what you might get because your body does crazy things when it starts getting what it needs all of a sudden. It's like, Whoa, Hey, look at this. I'm getting what I need. Maybe I could, I can start fixing a few things. Right. And, and I didn't, I didn't, um, I wasn't smart enough to, to give her that information. And when she started having stomach aches and that, she, she brought the bags back and said, I'm not interested. I don't like it. Made me sick. And I, and at that point, there was no getting over that hurdle. Um, yeah. I needed to give that information beforehand so that when those stomach aches, when those headaches happened, they were prepared for it and they didn't go, oh, this stuff's killing me or whatever. 
And so, yeah, there's a, a serious golden nugget to all of you people out there that are part of the Karn family already and you're trying to share the water with people. Take that bit of advice right there from young, young Stratton so that uh, you, can, you can head those things off at the pass before they, before they cause you grief and, and make it so that somebody, somebody doesn't jump over that hurdle that, that is going to change their life forever if they'll, if they'll do it. And yeah. sometimes that's, that's just part of the, of the, one of the battles that we face out here in our, in our goal of, of chasing our goal of changing the world. And so that's, that's some good stuff right there, buddy. Thank you for sharing that. And, um, so I, I, the best policy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I always use the analogy. I tell people, I say, uh, like th this is the best water in the world for, you know, say someone 30 years old comes in, I say for 30 years, you've drinking nothing but um, the water that you've been drinking it, and it's acidic, it's, it's causing your body harm. So when you switch over, you're drinking something good. It's, it's just like working out. If you go five, 10 years without working out that for those first week or so, when you start working out, you're going to feel like crap. You're going to hurt where you're going to be sore. Um, but you do that so you can become healthier. Right? So it's, it's just like working out. It's going to hurt at first, but it's going to be worth it. You're going to become healthier. Wow, that is that is great. So, um, as usual, towards the uh, to towards the end of these things, of I like to. I, I know you've gone through and showed us the store and all that, but I have a feeling that there are going to be people out there that are going to resonate with you, and they're going to want to know how to get a hold of you. They're going to want to come see the store. They're going to want to know where it's at. They're going to want to know what its website address is. They're going to want to know how they can get a hold of you. Uh, because if people, because you never know, that's another part of the reason why we do this is because you never know who's going to resonate with who, whose yeah. story is going to change who, who is going to be the one that, because there might be people out there on the, on the live feed or people that are going to see this as time goes by that, that I've been working with them for years, trying to get them to, you know, for the last two years, I've been trying to get them to jump on the con train and, and, uh, maybe they just think I'm nuts or something like that. And all of a sudden they meet you and they go, Hey, I, I like that guy. I want to go, I want to go work with him. I want to get my machine from him. For me, it's, that's fantastic. My, my goal is to get these machines into people's homes and I don't care where they buy them from. I'm a, I'm a, I'm familiar with the laws of attraction and, and the laws of positivity. And, and I just happen to know that by doing what I'm doing, it's going to come around and it, it simply People sometimes think I'm nuts for saying this kind of thing because they're like, oh, they're going to steal your people, whatever. I don't care about any of that. My thing is, is get the water. Get the water. I don't care who you get it from. And so they might want to meet you. They might want to work with you. They might want to be on your team. And that's great. So how do they get a hold of you? Why don't you give them all the, whatever you want to give them, phone numbers, email, I, you know, whatever. It's up to you. You give out what you want to give out. Yeah. Um, first of all, I, I just want to say that I, I respect that you're like that. You know, I, I love hearing um, when distributors are like that. It's it's not about, it's not all about the money. It's not all about um, how big your team is. It's about helping people, right? It's we're on a mission to change people's lives, and and it's so great to be a part of a company that you can do that. And so I I, I appreciate it, and I, I am grateful that you're like that. Um, and so, first of all, I'll just give out my, my personal number. It's what I use for work here in the store. I just use my cell number. I don't have a, a, a work phone here. Uh, I just use my cell phone so that people can call me anytime, whether I'm here or not. So my, my phone number is 480-888-6417. Um, and you can call or text that uh, anytime that you want. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just here and happy to help whoever I can. Um, I put my number on the website and everything. And so I get, I get calls from people all the time asking about the water, asking about the products. And, and I, I'm happy to help however I can. Um, and so we, uh, me, me and my sister are, are both doing this. I'm 22. My sister is 20 years old. And our goal is, so, is uh, we both, her more than me, but we both love to travel. And that's one of the things that, that really we were intrigued about this, about Enagic is, you can run this company from anywhere. I, I could up and move back to Malaysia tomorrow if I wanted, and I could, I could uh, run my company from there. That's what's so cool about this is you can do it from anywhere. Uh, so me and my sister, our goal is to be able to start traveling more and more selling machines all over the world because we, we love the idea of that. 
Um, and so if, if that's something you're interested in, I, I'm always happy to share with people like my story about how I've been able to do this through Enagic. And, and like JJ said, whether, whether you're on my team or not, it, it doesn't matter to me. I love just sharing my story about how Enagic has given me, given me uh, this opportunity to do so. If I, if I had a nine to five a J-O-B, I, I couldn't do that, right? I'd have to be here Monday to Friday to be working. Um, and that's just not what I want in my life. Um, and so th that's my cell number. Um, we, we do have a website for the store. Uh, one left. That website is uh, conganwaterstoreaz.com. That's conganwaterstoreaz as in Arizona, az.com. Um, hey, so that's one another. second real quick you guys got to meet my sweetie Hello. this is my better 99 percent right here She's oh, <laughs> like that. we've got we've got bunnies they and she, she just came in to let me know that she caught one of the bunnies we're trying to trap them right now so that we can we can revamp their uh their living area <laughs> uh, so yeah she's headed off to work and she just wanted to let me know she says I caught Wanda. <laughs> we have a bunny named Wanda. <laughs> it was my, my, my grandma's name. And uh, so we named a bunny after her. <laughs> anyway, hey, I apologize for interrupting you there. So go back to your, what, what were you, you were website? information about your website? Yeah, so, so the website, we have videos on there. We have information about our store. Um, for people that live around here, we, we have what we call a water share program. We give away a lot of free water. Anyone that comes in can come in and fill up water uh, for free uh, to try it out, see how they like it. Um, like I said, we're just here to, here to change people's lives. And if, if you'll give it those two weeks and just drink the water, you'll, you'll notice a difference. And so um, for any of the, the, the uh, distributors out there, if you, if you live anywhere around this area or you know someone around this area with a machine, we do machine cleanings here. So you don't have to send them into California if you live around here. Um, so that's, that's just one of the other ways that we try to, to uh, serve the Enagic community is because having to send it into California was just always such a hassle for people around here because you, know, you had to wait the, those full two weeks and it's hard to go without the machine, right? And so we, we, that's one thing we do here um, if you're looking for a place to clean your machine or anything like that. Awesome. Yes, that's good information. So now, what was your, what was your website again? So it's Congen Water Store, AZ, as in Arizona. So KongenWaterStoreAZ.com. AZ.com. And then... Uh, what about your uh, information for people to be able to, you know, can, do you have a website for the core products that people could look up there and go, or is that on the Congan Water Store site as well? So for people who might be interested in the, uh, the enzymes and the probiotics and the, and the core greens that, um, you know, what, how do they, how do they learn about that? And is there a different nope. website or it's all the same? Yeah, I, I'd recommend uh, the the Core Health website. It's just corehealthproducts.com. Okay, that's simple. C O R E. Yeah, C O R E healthproducts.com. So that that'll be the best one to learn about the Core Health products. On on the Kongan website, we have a little bit about it, but um, for people that that want to order product, the Core Health products you, uh, uh, website, you can order on there. So you can try the products, and so. Awesome. Hey, can you give and me the last four numbers of your phone number? My internet feed got cut off. I had 480-888-6417. Giddy up. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great stuff right there. So I, I just wonder now, Cayman, if, if you have any last, you know, we're, we're about 45 minutes in, 40 minutes in. And so I know you're busy and, and I, I know I've got things to get out, get on to as well, but I'm wondering if you have any, any last thing that you'd like to leave people with today, as far as, you know, a little piece of wisdom, a little, a little golden nugget or something, just something Because one of the things I just love about these shows is that we're doing it all from the heart. It's all coming from here. We're not scripting this stuff out. We're not sitting here, um, you know, getting ready for the acting show or anything like that. It's all just straight from the heart. And I hope that 
and, and we don't do any kind of editing or anything like that. I don't even know how to do any of that stuff. And quite frankly, I don't want to. I want it to be natural and from the heart uh, so that people, if we, because we're human beings just like everybody else. And, and we, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. And I like to, I like to show people that I'm real and that I'm, a, that I'm not here trying to manipulate anything. Whatever happens, happens. What gets said, gets said. And we're going we're gonna to take what we get and we're going to love it. And so what, what do you have as a, you know, a final tidbit or whatever that you'd like to add that, that you think might be important for people that are listening in on this to hear? Um, I would say just, just to go for it. I think there's a lot of people out there that, that have heard about Kangen water and they, you know, they're, they're interested in it, they're intrigued, but they're, they, they, don't, they don't take that final step to just go for it. Um, whether, you're in, you, whether you're going into it for the health or for the business or for both, um, you know, a lot of people have doubts or, or they're scared that it's, it's not going to work, whether, whether it's not going to help them health-wise or they're not going to be able to build a business. Um, you know, it's normal to have doubts, but I would say just, just go for it, just try it out. Um, you, you're never going to know if you don't try it. It's something that's changed, that's changed my life. And, you know, like I said, whether it's health or business, I, I love, I love both aspects of it. It's something that has helped me health wise and business wise. It's something that's changed my life. This is my future. I'm only 22 years old and I, I absolutely love this. Me and my sister do it every day. Uh, we love to help people learn about Kangen water because it changes lives. It's something that is very fulfilling. It's something that I love. And so when you do something that you love for work, it's, it's, it's not work anymore. It's, it's a, it's a hobby, right? This is yes. my hobby. I love to teach about Kangen water. I love to travel and tell people around the world about the water. And so, you know, if, if you're, if you're kind of on the fence of whether you want to get a machine or start this business or whatever it is, just go for it. It's something that will change your life. You will absolutely love it. You cannot go wrong with Kangen water. You know, can I address that a little bit, JJ? Can I say something? I think he's on to something. Now, I don't want to minimize higher education in the sense that, you know, it's something to strive for. It's something, you know, without college ball, I don't know. I might have done a different route. But, you know, if I could go back, God's honest truth, if I could go back and I could rewrite my path with a vehicle like this, um, I'd have done it. You know, I'm overachieving, getting a master's degree at 26, really trying to buck up the system and do all that. And I don't know, man. I just really look at like what I've gained from this. I mean, just some of the training, you weigh it out and you compare it to a college course and you just ask yourself, what's the translatability in terms of earning power and stuff like that? You know, I love the fact that you know, you might be taking some part-time courses. I don't know. I don't, again, don't want to minimize higher education, but to be 22 and to be right where you are with a 12-year foundation of an adjunct here in the United States, 15-year, whatever it is, um, I just think that's extraordinary. And I think for any of the young people in your generation, you know, I really want to be able to utilize your story in that regard that this is this is your conviction this is the direction you're taking at 22 you could be very well retired by the time you're 30 and that's something that i don't think a lot of people really understand and there's no way in the wide wide world of sports we're going to do that with a regular job you know so you know on that level does that intrigue you is that a, a goal is that a part of your vision as you're uh, you know just sharing that with us because i think that right there is so profound you know I've got, you know, you talk to some old dinosaurs, they can't make this switch. They've got to, you know, they're car salesmen or they're real estate, and they're stuck in it. You know, you're kind of creating your own path with this. And is that a goal of yours? Do you have a retirement goal? Do you have any long-term thought like that at oh, 22? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, like I said, I, I served a mission a few years back. At, right out of high school, I left on that mission. Um, and so I kind of, I kind of put my life on hold to, to go do that. Cause it's something I was passionate about, but when I got back, it was kind of scary thinking about what am I going to do with the rest of my life? Am I going to have to go to school for, 
four or five years? Am I going to have to, you know, I, I didn't know what I was going to have to do. I personally didn't want to have to go to school. And so when I kind of started um, thinking about uh, starting with Enagic and starting this business, um, I, I was surprised at how many people told me that I was doing the wrong thing. I had a lot of people tell me that if you do not go to university, if you not do, don't go to college, you will not be successful. And that's kind of what the world makes us as kids growing up. That's kind of what they make us think. They think that if you don't go to college, then you can't be successful. Um, and like you were saying, I'm not minimizing that at all, but I, I, don't, I don't believe that in order to be successful, you have to go to college. In order to be successful, you just have to believe in yourself and work for something, right? And this is something that, I, I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life and retiring at, at 35. That would, that would be amazing if, if I could do that. Um, and so, yeah, those are definitely my goals. And it's something that I, I began to believe in myself more. I don't have to rely on school to learn and to grow. I, I, I've learned so much just owning my own business just, just by doing it. So I've got a question for you. And, and this is uh, being that you're 22 years old, what did did you purchase your own Kong and water machine? Start your own business out? I did. Yes. The, the reason I ask you this question is that being that you're so young, um, a lot of people, you know, I know people that are in their thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, and and their biggest hurdle, their biggest issue with getting involved with Kong and water is, oh, it's five thousand dollars. Oh, it's four thousand dollars. Oh, it's three thousand um, dollars. They're they're only looking at the expense side of. They're looking at as as an expense rather than an investment. And the reason I bring this question up is because I'm curious about the thought process of a young, twenty one year old kid, that he's going. Well, I want to start my business. Um, I've got to come up with five grand. Um, what was your thought process on that? What do you have to say to other people where they're looking at it from that standpoint? Because I know what I say to people. I'm curious what you say to people when they go, oh, oh, 5,000, oh, you know, what do you say? <laughs> well, I, I just kind of help them break it down because people are either going to go into, they're either going to buy a machine for the health or for the business or for both, right? For me, it was for both. I wanted both of them. Um, and so I, I tell people if it's, if it's just for the health, it's, it's, it's not, it's not an expense. It's something you're investing. You're investing into yourself. It's something that you need, you have to have in order, in order to live a healthy, happy life. Not, 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 not necessarily happy, but to be, to be the healthiest you can be. I believe that you, you need this machine in your life. You need to be drinking tongue and water. And so it, it's an investment into your health. And that's, that's the way you have to look at it. You can't look at it as an expense. Um, for people that are wanting to do it for the business, $4,000 or $5,000 to start your own business is, you can't find that anywhere. If, 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 um, if you want to go out and start your own business, um, doing other things, you're going to have to get a small business loan of a lot, a lot of money that the, the money, I, I, I didn't have that kind of money. I wouldn't have been able to start, uh, um, start a different company. But for me, being able to start a company for $5,000 and be my own boss and be able to, to travel and sell these machines wherever I go in the world, like that, that, that was a no brainer for me. Right. And something that, that I fully believed in, I believed in myself. I wanted to work for myself and it's, I was investing in myself and in a business. So no, that, that's that. kind of what I, that's the thing about young guys like you. Why I'm so tickled to have you on the show today, buddy, is that, you guys give me so much inspiration. There are, there are, there are a bunch of young people in this company, um, guys like Matty Cohen and Sebastian Restrepo. Yeah, I always get, you know me and my name, Sean. <laughs> but Sebastian Restrepo and all of his young kids are all in their 20s and early 30s, and they're just rocking the world with this company. And so it's so inspiring to see you young kids getting involved with with this company and and changing so many people's lives at such a young age um i always just think back and think gosh i sure wish i would have wish i would have gotten involved with this all those years ago but things happen in their time frame right and and it just wasn't the right time and and 
two years ago was the right time and and it is what it is and i never looked at it from the the cost standpoint i was just it just made sense and for me my health is worth everything if you don't have your health you have nothing people multi-millionaires will spend every dime they have trying to get their health back once they lose it and so it's so interesting to see young people that that take the bull by the horn and and get after it right at such a young age it's so inspiring it hopefully as people get to see this um as time goes by this is going to change people's lives just hearing what you have to say hearing you know the young kid that's got it so together where like i was telling you earlier um most people your age all they're into is watching video games and and going to mcdonald's and eating their eating their garbage and working at mcdonald's and just scraping by day by day and they don't have any thought process about the future and you know you keep doing what you're doing brother i guarantee you you're going to be retired if you want to by 30 and you're the, the truth of the matter is for us we're never going to retire it's never going to happen why because if you're if what you're doing, if you love what you're doing, you never work a freaking day in your life. And so you'll always be working for the rest of your life. You'll always be sharing this water out. You're always going to be running around the world, having a ball. And so retirement is kind of like, whatever, I'll, I'll retire my worries. That's what I'll retire. I, exactly. I don't have anything in the world to worry about. And, uh, you know, Sean, what do you, do you have anything to add to that, uh, to this concept, what we're talking about right now? No, I think that's exactly what we're talking about. You know, it's just a matter of being able to not worry about money, you know, and I don't think we've, I don't think, I've never seen a, you know, I've seen other companies come and go. I've seen other companies flailing around. The, the, the promise of financial, you know, health, Wealth is so much greater with the magic because we have a technology that's literally changing the way people approach their health, the way people approach their, you know, green living, you know, it's so eco-friendly. And um, yeah, I just think we're on to something. And to me, again, it's just really neat to see young people taking over. You know, these millennials are, people say they're lazy and you guys are lazy, but no, I just think you've learned how to work smarter, not harder we've been kind of cultivated. You work really hard. They never put the in parentheses for somebody else. You're going to get benefits and you're going to be thankful for it, you know, but that's all they ever mean. If you work hard, you can have all you want. Working for somebody else, that's some kind of sucker story right there. Um, you know, talking about that really briefly too, talking about higher education, 67% of college graduates are not working in their field of study beyond their college experience. You know, I got a son, he's 27, went and got a $48,000 education at this really high level school in Virginia. He's not even using the degree that he went to school for and played ball with, you know. You know, I went to school for counseling and that kind of gig and I just kind of translated it, maybe morphed it into a little health and wealth counseling uh, with Kangen and Enagic. But no, I'm just absolutely proud of you. I love the fact that you're doing what you're doing. Um, when I get down that way sometime, I'm going to make sure I stop into the store. And meanwhile, I'm going to send anybody I know down that way. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, just to stop in and say hey to the Stratton clan, you know. No, your dad, you guys are great people. I've really been fortunate to have met a lot of neat people in this company. And, uh, yeah, your dad's right at the top of the list. So being able to sit here, I think you were on your mission, brother, when I saw, saw your family in Vegas. I think it was in 16. Yeah. And I think you've mentioned that. So it's just a real honor and a privilege to have you on here today, my friend, and uh, continued blessings. Godspeed to you. Um, Really happy to have you on the interview this morning. Really grateful for that and uh, really wish you the best and look forward to uh, getting you on here again somewhere down the line, brother. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the opportunity and I love to share my story and I love um, being with, with uh, the amazing family of the, of the Enagic family. God bless you.
I'm yeah. sharing this with every 20 something I know. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, buddy. This is such a great example. That's what makes me so proud of you. I can't wait to get down there and give you a real hug. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just, it's, I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed to have been able to create this little platform here. And as it moves along, as we get more and more people learning about it, we're getting more and more people that want to come on the show. They want to share their stories. They, they realize that this is something that we're doing so we can help other people. It's not something that so just JJ and John can, can help themselves. No, it's about helping everybody. It's about helping all of the family. It's about sharing, sharing information and, and, when we when we say that our goal is to change the world, um, we're not joking. We're 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 absolutely serious about that, and it is happening. We see it every day. Um, every day we get to change somebody's life for the better, and we get to actually wake up in the morning and say, "I get to change somebody's life today." Woo -woo! You know, and they're and you're we're stoked. We get to wake up that way, and I wasn't that way until I got involved with Kong and Water. I've learned some things since getting involved with this company that have, have really shifted my life in such a positive way that I just can't, the words can't convey how grateful I am for it. And being able to have people like you, young, you know, heroes, because you got, you're, you're one of my heroes, buddy. You're gonna end up being one of my mentors too, because I just, I, I get mentors everywhere from, I've got a 17 year old mentor that, he, uh, he's incredible and he lives up in Canada and he's 17 years old and is already, already owns and is selling Kangen water machines. He went out and bought his own $5,000 machine at the age of 17. There you go. That's and, awesome. Uh, he, he and his two friends are going on a, they're going to Germany to compete in an international Taekwondo uh, competition. And he's going to be on the show with us um, hopefully Tuesday. Wow. With, his, with his two competitor friends that are, they're going to, the three of them are going there together and they're doing it all on their own dime. Um, and it's, it's crazy. The, the people that are in this company that I just can't say enough about it. It's been such an incredible blessing for my life. And, and, you know, it's just neat getting together with people like yourself that feel exactly the same way. We all have so much passion for this company and we're all so grateful for it. And when you find something that you have that much passion for and that, mu that much gratefulness for you, there's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can hold you back. And, and I'm so blessed to have had the chance to meet you. And it's going to be so much fun watching you and your sister uh, roll through life and, and share your stories. And if you wouldn't mind reaching out to your sister and to anybody else, because it's uh, it's turned out to be a fairly daunting task trying to get people in here seven days a week. And so at the end of every show, I like to reach out to the guests and say, hey, if you know anybody, that's that's how you ended up on here. I reached out to Alexis and said, hey, if uh, if you know anybody, you run into anybody that has a good story to show or, or share and they, you know, let them know about this show and ask them to to hook up with me. And and so she put put me in touch with you so that and here we are and this is how it works if um, if we can all reach out and share with each other it'll it'll be something that we can uh, we can really change some lives and make a huge difference and so i'm so grateful to you came and thank you buddy you're a great inspiration and um i just thank you once again for taking your valuable time getting in here sharing some golden nuggets with us we love you and um, all you people that are out there listening to the live, thank you so much for taking your time to be here. Um, everybody that's gonna see this on YouTube, thank you so much for taking the time. We hope you find some value out of this that, uh, that you can change your life and other people's lives because ultimately that's what it's all about. It's the most rewarding thing there is in the world to, to have somebody call you up crying saying thank you, you changed my life for the better. And uh, you guys all, you guys both know how that feels. Many of the people that are listening to this, they know how that feels and there's nothing. Well, better. I remember that phone call JJ and I'm just really happy to be here for you in that regard. 
Amen, brother. <laughs> you, you have. You've changed my life. And I'm, I've shed many a tear on the phone with you, brother. And, yeah. uh, you know, and, and that's one of the cool things, Cayman, is that, like, Sean and I, we're not even on the same team as far as, as, far as our line. You know, I'm not in his downline. He's not my downline. But what we are is we're part of the same family. Yep. And, and that's why the we're Kong family daily. And it doesn't have anything to do with money. It has to do with love and and friendship and so it's 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 awesome you guys and i hope that people listening to this under you know i hope they feel the passion that's coming from us and and um i hope that it ends up being something that that opens up a door for them that they can they can get on this train with us because boy is it ever exciting boy is it ever fulfilling and come join the family kids Cayman, thank you once again. Reach out to your sister. I'd love to have her on the show. I'd like to get to meet her too. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get your pops to come on here sometime soon and share some of his magic. And um, so once again, have yourself an awesome day, you guys. Much love and blessings to you. And uh, as usual, don't forget your hugs. Who do you? <laughs> love you, kids. Right on, guys. Awesome. Hey, great, great interview, man. Appreciate it again, Cayman. God bless you, brother. We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. It was good to meet you, you guys. Okay. Take care. You too. Bye for now.